Wow, I swear, every time I criticize something specific in Evangelion, uh, the next episode kind of uh, fixes the problem, uh, <laughs> even if there are others in its wake. Specifically, when it comes to, by episode 18, finally something happened. Like, some something drama-related happened with the Evangelians. They did something genuinely reprehensible. There was genuine issues going into this and um again i reiterate that it still does have problems like i think the pilot needed to be his own character i think the uh, uh the, the fourth child choji uh I, I think he needed to be built up more not just in that, that last episode i think he needed to be like you know relevant more i think they needed to foreshadow with this better like uh, uh again i think the entire fact that we still do not exactly understand why we need the, the children in general kind of ruins it. Uh, the fact that, like, they don't really explain what even went wrong. Like, they reclassified it as an angel. Like, they can do that. Like, it can just, what? What? Like, why did it go berserk? Are they ever going to explain, you know, why this happens? They can't just, like, I don't know, do random bullshit like that and then just expect to, like, ooh, dramatic. And um, there is – that's kind of a shame, too, because there are really, really good ideas here. This, this is the first time where I genuinely feel like Shinji has issues with piloting the Evangelion. Like, he has issues doing this thing that he has to do. And Gendo, of course, wants to get things done by any means necessary, even if it, he has to do something, like, really, really terrible. Like, uh, making Shinji murder one of his fucking friends. Like, holy fucking shit. Like, okay. So, Shinji, again, on one hand, I'm just like, well, Shinji knows how uh, the Evas work, right? Like, surely he could have, like, compromised or something. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, got him out some way. Like, th this isn't something that... Disable the like arms and legs or something like I don't really see why Shinji was just like I can't fucking do it Someone's in there like sure it's risky, but you you can pull that off like especially when it's three on one Right, you can just disable the Eva have the pilot removed like it's not that big of a deal Okay, but they somehow fuck it up like Ray saw uh, Asuka somehow Asuka somehow gets fucked up somehow they don't show it because this show has shit for animation budget but She gets fucked up uh, I think Ray gets fucked up too because she's nowhere to be found. Like after some break, like, uh, and then Shinji has to fight this thing, and then like, and then Gendo's like, "Okay, Shinji, fuck it up," and then Shinji's just like, "No, I can't. There's a person in there," and then Gendo's like, "No, you have to do it." And um, genuinely dramatic, you know, conflict, you know, a genuine conflict there. There's a real issue, like a real moral dilemma here. Uh, again. Pro the most impressive so far this series. Again, it was like, again, it should have been more emotional. Like, again, you should have known this character more. Sure, there have been, should have been, like, more things to, like, like and appreciate when it came to this series, like, this drama, you know? Like, there should have been more there, you know? You know? And, I don't know, like, uh, in spite of everything, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed myself. Like, it worked. This is, like, this wasn't too bad. Again, I, I just found myself, yeah, again, my issue is that, like, it took so long to get to this point. Like, enti entire Shinji's entire character arc, like, his entire thing is that he's supposed to be reluctant to uh, pilot the Eva. But, like, my impression, like, after the whole, uh, I'm not going to run away thing, like, after that, he, like, seemed to grow attached to the Eva and, like, be re become really good at it. And, like, people were, like, uh, things seemed to be going really well. And now he's, like, uh... I don't know, like, there's this thing happens, like, he's going to quit again, like, th th this is something that, like, should have been built up, like, throughout the entire season, not, like, uh, brought up, dropped, and then, like, brought up again, like, like, 12 episodes later, something like, something crazy like that, like, this is something that, you know, it seemed, he seemed to be growing as a character, really, I, I just, I just don't really see how... I don't know. And the worst thing, the absolute worst thing, is that I am not completely sure whether or not Toji is actually dead. Because, like, at the very end, Shinji's just like, the 
the guys are like, the pilot, the pilot has life signs. And Shinji's like, really? And then he looks down and sees Toji. And he's just like, <gasps> and then like the, the, the episode ends. And then they don't like establish on whether he's actually alive or not. Like, did, did, did like the guy immediately afterward goes like, oh, no, never mind. He's fucking dead. Like, uh, oh, by the way, one of, one of the issues I have with this setup, uh, the whole play it for drama thing. One of the big issues here is that no one, for no fucking reason, seems to be willing to tell Shinji that, like, uh, Toji is the fourth child. Like, everyone is fucking dodging the question, being as vague as possible, not telling Shinji anything. Like, even Rei and Asuka, like, fucking don't tell him this. Like, Asuka, like, Shinji even, is, like, calls Asuka out on this. Like, do you know who the fourth child is? And, like, Asuka's just, like, obviously, like, uh, no, uh, uh, she, like, pretends not to know for, like, no fucking reason. There's, like, no real explanation for it. Like, Shinji would be upset by this? Why? Like, I don't think they really established that very well at all. And, like, it, it's just, like, wow. They're doing some other thing, something with the other kid who, like, really, really wants to be an Eva pilot, and he comes to Misato. And then is like, oh, make me an Eva pilot. Like, I, I imagine what they're going to do is be like, oh, if you became an Eva pilot, you would have been as fucked up as Toji did. Like, th this entire deal, man. Like, the, again, it's like Evangelion in general. It's like the ideas are there. And in this episode are executed a bit better, you know, than usual. But, like, again, it's like the little things that, like, kill it. And, like, I imagine as like, the series goes on, this moment is just going to be drowned out by, you know, this one relatively good moment like dramatic moment is going to be drowned out by bullshit you know like i just i don't know where else is there to go from here like i don't really like oh oh oh, oh yeah masato and her weird peculiar belief that gendo is going to use the evas to take over the world and i'm just like what those things need to be plugged in those things have like batteries that last five minutes like Try to take over the world with those things. Like, I, I dare you. Like, they'll run out of batteries before, like, you can get across, like, an ocean. Like, okay. Like, shit. And, and again, this goes back to the the, uh, the whole thing where, like, Evas don't really seem like all that practical weapons to begin with. Like, they're just robots that use martial arts because, like, use, like, hand-to-hand -hand weapons because, uh, Apparently that's more effective than angels. Even when they're not, like that time they they sunk those battleships and like shoved them into an angel's mouth somehow. Like they somehow managed to calculate this. Where they got again, this is another thing that pissed me off. They they sunk these two battleships, uh, wasted probably millions of dollars, like hundred uh, tens of millions of dollars of like military resources to sink these battleships. Somehow shoved them in an angel's mouth underwater, under the ocean. You know, like right above Ariel, <laughs> under the sea, they shove these battleships into this thing's fucking mouth and somehow set off the missiles and exploded it from the inside. Like, yeah, yeah, conventional weapons don't work against angels, apparently, which is why, like, the, the Evas use knives and guns. Like, like, they don't explain this. They don't explain this at all. And, that, and like, the whole... Um, Again, they don't explain why the Eva went berserk to begin with. Like, are they going to explain why they need, like, specific people in, like, the next episode? Are they going to be like, oh, there's a reason. There's a reason we picked Toji, and there's a reason he fucked up. Like, uh, he wasn't right for the role. Like, well, then why did you pick him to begin with? Like, I don't understand it. Not at all. Like, I still don't. Like, yeah, Asuka still does not really have a backstory. Like, I understand that she does. But they still have not explained it. Like, is that going to be... Okay, yeah. With my record, they're probably going to talk about it next episode. But right now, I'm just like... I'm just like, these questions, man, they just kill it for me. Like, I don't like this as a fighting robot show. I don't like this as a drama. I don't like this as, like, a military show. Like, everything about it is just so off-putting to me. Like... I don't know, man. Like, even moments like this that really should have been great, really pivotal, should have, like, this moment should have changed everything. And I'm just, like, it, it kind of did, kind of. Like, it made me finally see why people fucking hate Gendo. Like, it, it's not just him being, like, indifferent. He'll, like, 
actually tell Shinji to fucking murder someone. Like, yeah, even when that didn't make any sense. Like, again, that wouldn't be something he typically would do. Like, it was a really weird situation. Like, uh, again, even when I was watching it, I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, it sucks, but whatever. Like, I don't know. It, it was a hard decision to make, okay? Uh, but I, I'm just like, Man, Shinji didn't sh sign up for that. Fighting another person, like, like again, they, they always like they've been emphasizing emphasizing this for a while and said like we don't actually know how the how the Evas work. Like, where the fuck did you get the technology? Like, you made them from like fallen angels or some bullshit like that. Like, how does how does that work? Like, how does that work at all? Like, th there are so many questions that I imagine will not have answers. That will not have like sat that will not have a satisfying resolution. Like, I don't see, like, uh, the ending to the show being any good. Like, I, I just don't. Like, um, th th this is, uh, you know, was it 18? Yeah, 18. I, I keep losing track. 18th episode. 18 episodes in. And I'm still, like, uh, we're finally getting to the point where, like, hey, maybe piloting with Eva is a bad, is it a good thing? Like, th that should have been something that should have been, like, you know, should have been gradually built up over the series, not just, like, shoved in our face in, like, one episode. Like, Shinji suffers from depression, even though he's been, like, smiling and, like, fighting all these angels. Like, oh, shit. By the way, why are the angels a threat? Because they cause second impact? Like, uh, like, the other angels who have showed up haven't really done anything. They just, they just swim around and just, they don't even really attack buildings or anything. They just, like, wait for the Evas to kill them. And it's just, like, Ugh, man. And they do such weird things with these angels, too, where they, like, make these weird speculations, like, oh, we don't know whether they understand human thought, uh, human compassion. And it's just like, man, it's it's trying so hard, so, so hard to be thought-provoking, to be, like, tr you know, interesting, to be, like, this incredibly you know, complex thing, but it, it really isn't. It just all sorts of fall, falls apart under, like, any sort of scrutiny, you know? Like, I imagine, I, I, I don't know. I, there are just so many that so many things I have an issue with this, with this anime. Like, even a moment like this, which I imagine is probably going to be the series highlight for me. I, I just, I don't see myself, like, coming around and, like, saying that by the end of this, like, yeah, I, I like Evangelia. Like, no, that, that, I don't think at this point that's going to happen. I don't like this show, even though it's not, like, I, I want to reiterate this. I don't hate this show as much as I do, like, some other things I'm watch, I, I've watched in the past, like uh, a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You know, I fucking hated that. Uh, I, I'm watching another show now that I want to review, but uh, I think I'll wait to the end of the season for that. But Neon Genesis Evangelion, I think, can be considered to be, like, something that does not really deserve its reputation. Like, I am 18 episodes in, like, more than halfway through the series, uh, nearly to the end, the very controversial ending that even the creators themselves do not fucking like and try to retcon with a movie, like a, a movie series or something like that. Like, I don't know, man. Like, this thing... Like, how much... Is this thing going to get better or worse? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I think it might get a little bit better going by this episode if they keep building this drama. But I don't know, man. Like, we're... I feel like we're regressing. Like, we're going back to, like, Shinji being a whiny bitch again. And, like, the problem that... The problem isn't that, like, he's a whiny bitch. The problem is that, like, the, the character arc makes no sense. Like, he goes from whiny, like, to uh, not wanting to pilot the Eva to, like, doing it. And, like, going to, like, uh, do it pretty well and then, like, fucking up and then being like, oh, no, I can't pilot the EVA because of, like, one situation that's probably never going to happen again. Like, uh, let, let's be real here. There's not ever going to be a situation, probably, where Shinji is going to have to go up against another EVA. It's just incredibly unlikely if, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe if people were more upfront with Shinji about this, like, this kind of thing, this wouldn't be a problem. Like, if they were like, hey, Shinji, this is our, you're, you're fighting an, ain't, you're fighting an Eva, like, there's someone in it, but be careful. Like, if somebody was, like, encouraging, that's all you really need to do, is just, like, you know, figure this out. Like, you can't just, 
I don't know. Like, it feels really cheap to me. Like, this this feels like really cheap drama that did not need to happen. Like, it really does. Like, again, it should have worked, but it just didn't. And this is one of my this is one of my, one of the better episodes. I feel I feel I I like it a lot more than like uh, the last few. So we'll, we'll see what I think of uh, when it comes to episode nineteen.